Hello everyone, how are you? I am back again, I know I keep saying that, it's like every time there's a new video I'll lose, it's like, oh, I'm back. And I'm also starting to realise I'm referring to myself in the third person quite a lot and I honestly do not mean to be doing that, but here I am. I would like to make a quick disclaimer and a quick apology you might hear some noises in the background but, but we're in the third lockdown and i'm not the only person that lives in this house so you might generally hear some noise in the background and some mumbling there's nothing i can do about that i am sorry i'm sorry no you're not Welcome to a brand new episode of I Watched. It's been a, a hot minute since I've done an I Watch video, but I've been busy, kind of busy. I've been... The reason I hesitate is because since my last video, a lot of stuff has happened. And when I say a lot of stuff, I mean my abilities in making videos kind of went from halfway to zero like i was always struggling kind of before to make videos because of my laptop my laptop is quite old but then it got to the point where my laptop was just like no this is not happening mm -mm. no no i can't do anything i can barely watch youtube on that laptop so i had to go and get a new pc and wait for that pc to come and it was worth the wait i love my new pc it's great but here i am with a brand new episode of i watched that, that's the important stuff. I'm here with new videos. With a new video in Pacific. It, ugh, with a new video for you guys today. I wanted to wait and leave it for a couple of days before I release this video because it only, the show only came out on Friday. And I don't want to, this is going to be spoiler free by the way, but I don't want to accidentally have any spoilers in it and then ruin it for people. I want people to kind of have time to watch it for themselves. This video is about the new show on Disney Plus, WandaVision. I have been looking forward to this show coming out since it was announced. So, what, two years now? I believe it was meant to come out last year, along with, well, I think everything was meant to come out last year, but that damn virus is just ruining everything for everybody. But anyway, we're here now, and it's out, it's released, and I'm hype. If you've seen it, you know why i'm excited and why i'm happy if you haven't oh boy you're in for a treat <laughs> a spoiler free review this show is about wonder um wonder maximoff and vision <laughs> i'm joking i'll give you more than that uh, if you've seen infinity wars if you've seen any of the marvel films then you will know who Wanda and Vision are. You'll know that they're a couple, or they were a couple until Thanos killed Vision to get the Infinity Stone out of his head. And obviously, Wanda didn't take that too well. So now we have the show of Wanda Vision, and it's got both Wanda and Vision in it, and they are a couple living a happy suburban 1950s, 60s life you know one's just a happy housewife and vision's out working and providing for her is it's that's basically the show but if you've watched infinity wars and um end game and all of the stuff that's happened since then you know that can't really be possible because vision is <coughs> so yeah you're already going into the show thinking what it's about on Disney Plus right now, there's only two episodes out and it's going to be an episode a week, you know, instead of like Netflix where everything's already out there for you to binge watch, you know, you have to wait. You have to wait. And I, I like that. I do. Normally, I don't. I think I've been spoiled by Netflix. I have definitely been spoiled by Netflix. So it's easy to spoil me. I, I, ha I have several tiaras. Is, I'm, I'm easily spoiled and I'm not lying everything's coming out weekly and I generally I like that the thing I really like about this show I didn't know if I was going to like it I knew I wanted to watch it I knew I didn't 
I knew I wanted to watch it and I knew that no matter what I was going to watch it but I didn't know that I was going to enjoy it the way that I did enjoy it I honestly thought that and to be fair it might still end up this way that Loki and Falcon and Winter Soldier might take over and be my, my new favourite things because it's going to be very impact like action bound or impact bound or impact too you never know but um this show for the first two episodes was very good very funny but it also tapped into something that most people don't well most people do know about me by now if you keep watching my channel but it tapped into something that i'm very very good at my detective slash conspiracy side not joking from the first episode i'm sitting there i'm watching it and you kind of expect there to be spoilers in marvel stuff so you kind of always have to have your eye out well i don't because i'm very blase to a lot of things until i've watched it like a third fourth fifth time and then i'm like oh hang on wait a minute i'm not even joking i'm not joking i'm generally not joking i was watching hollow crown last night drama student here watching hollow crown last night wasn't really paying attention and it was henry the fourth's episode part one and how was talking to bardoff was it bardoff no he was oh who was he talking to either way he said the line he would never hang a thief full stuff he was talking to full stuff he said he would never hang a thief well come henry the fearful he did he hung a thief so i don't understand how it took me 20 years no not tw no yeah 20 years to to realize the irony in that so i'm off point but i'm just i'm off point to make a point that's not even people in my house that's just people walking by anyway the point is i can be very blasé when when i need to be well i can be very blasé i am very very blasé when it comes to watching films why is everyone out tonight who is trying So the noise, 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 noise. Anyway, going back, yes, I miss things a lot. I do. I miss details a lot. Not just in films, but in life too. Actually, mostly in, in films, so I, I like to pick up things quite easily. In fact, I'm a bit paranoid. <laughs> paranoid, Foxy. First two episodes, you definitely feel the need, well, I felt the need that maybe I should sit down with my pen and paper and put on my glasses and try to figure everything out. Why am I speaking like that? I don't know. But I did feel like my inner detective was coming out. The first two episodes I felt were very funny but sinister like you can tell it's going to get dark really fast you can tell straight away that it's going to get really intense and really dark really really quickly now the question is uh, the question that i think most people who've seen it and are avid marvel fans and know the comment comics sorry um really well i think the questions they have is how close and how true is it going to be to that particular or a particular comic storyline or is it going to be something completely different and how does it all tie in together because so far we know i believe we know that wandavision loki spider-man and or spider-man all connects to doctor strange's new film that's going to come out and i don't know how they are all coming together but i'm excited i'm very excited about how how they are all going to come together and how they're going to pull it off and yeah it's great one thing i am excited about is completely got nothing to do with one division well i don't think so is there's a rumor that jessica jones is coming back into the marvel universe well she's always in the marvel universe but she's coming back and she's going to be in a film 
and I'm so happy about that. So is Daredevil that we know of. Well, I think that's already been confirmed. But the fact that they're saying Jessica Jones is coming back is leading me to hope that maybe all of them are going to come back in some kind of formal way. Otherwise, that's a big opportunity wasted. Wasted. It's very weird. I, I always find it very hard and very weird to talk about shows and films and not give away spoilers because there's so much I want to talk about, but I can't because if I talk about it, it's a massive, it's massive spoilers. But I can say the characters, everyone that's in it plays their part fantastically and flawlessly. It is one of those things that you, it's easy to watch. I need something that's very easy to watch otherwise I'm going to lose interest very quickly it's very hard to keep my attention spam very very hard I lose constant I don't concentrate I, I forget what I'm doing all the time it's just that's just me so this kept my attention it kept me engaged it made me chuckle and it also made me think okay what's really happening here hmm? Hmm? who has my precious wonder so and that's not a spoiler, by the way. That's, that's that's well known. Do I think you should watch this? If you've got Disney+, Plus, definitely give it a watch. If you're a big Marvel fan, yeah, you need to give this a watch. If you're not, what are you doing? What are you sitting at home, do, sitting at home doing, I should say? Especially if you're in the UK, you're in lockdown. You ain't going nowhere. So definitely give that a watch. Anyway, <laughs> check it out if you can, because it's so much fun to watch. And I enjoyed it immensely. So yeah, well that is all I have for today's episode and I hope you enjoyed it. It's very quick and very rambly, just like me. If you've got time, which you do because you're watching me, please like, comment and subscribe. Join the Louise army. That's what I'm calling us now. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm quiet, but just join us. <laughs> join us. Is that creepy? I feel like that's not creepy enough. Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, that's it.